right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Horizon Tech Falcon King. Is it? Is it really the king though? Horizon Tech has had some really stellar, really stellar sub-ohm tanks. The last one they released, the Falcon Artisan Resin Edition was, I mean, my favorite coil heads. The M3 triple mesh coil heads are categorically my favorite coil heads within vaping. They just, they just vape so well. But I wasn't necessarily like in love with that Falcon Resin Artisan tank that came in you know, a lot of real weird colors. And it had that weird 510 drip tip that always came loose on me. Well, no longer. We have a Falcon King that doesn't come in any weird baby barf colors and it has an 810 drip tip in it. The old Falcon coil heads used cotton and wood pulp. These newer Falcon coil heads use bamboo. They wick and vape uh, fantastically. It's just a rock and vape, clouds for days, flavor is great. This is the dual mesh coil head I have in here now. There's honestly not a whole hell of a lot to see up close with this tank, but I have a new Falcon King that I want to set up, so... Ha! Boosh! Rainbow Finish Falcon King Tank. We're gonna set this up, we're gonna talk about the airflow, how you fill it. The little fill system on here is just awesome, as well as I wanna just, just to make sure, I wanna try out the old school Falcon Artisan Resin coil heads inside the new Falcon King. They're both Falcons, so they should work, but I, I just wanna make sure. You search for the little yellow tab, which will take off this really annoying sticker. I'm just kidding, it's not annoying. It is annoying. Pop this off. There is your Falcon King tank. It's kind of threaded to this little piece of plastic right there. Spare coil head on the inside. And ah, eventually there is... Nope. That's just foam. Eventually, there is extra O-rings. Then you also have a spare glass included, a straight glass, if you will. Move. All right, except I need this. So yeah, here's the Falcon King. You have this adjustable AFC on the bottom. Little bit of resistance to it, but otherwise it's nice and glidey. I have a feeling this will definitely stay wherever you want to put it. Because I've been becoming more of a restricted lung hit guy, I do like to close my AFC, boom, down about halfway. So first things first, with any sub ohm tank I get fresh from the factory, I like to pull out the coil head and reseat it in there. Sometimes those just get seated too far down in there. They compromise the integrity of the O ring. It can lead to flooding. It can lead to dry hits. Comes with two different coil heads. There is a single mesh and a dual mesh coil head. Boom, there's the single mesh. Boom, there's the double mesh. I prefer the dual mesh. I actually prefer the triple mesh coil heads. I think they have better flavor than the dual, and I think the dual has better flavor than the single. What we have in here are some more dual mesh coil heads. Oh yeah, they're identical. They're 100% they're identical. This will 100% fit in here, no problem. Oh yeah, easily, 100%. 100% backwards compatible, awesome. That means I can use this King Tank with my favorite M3 triple mesh coil heads. And taking a look at these coil heads, you can see Horizon Tech does it pretty well. These are pretty complicated looking little coil heads. You have juice inlet spots right here and right here, except some of them have little holes punched in them. I don't know what those holes serve other than I know that they all wick really well. And the coil heads, kind of like those old UL Valerian coil heads, have that minimum line on there, like just don't let your juice level drop below this or you could get dry hits. It's certainly not gonna be the end of the world. So all right, let's set it up. All right, well now we arrive at literally the coolest feature of the Falcon King tank, other than the very high quality coil heads that go on the inside, but this is the easiest, simplest, and honestly most fun way I've ever filled up a tank. There have been other tanks that have implemented very similar filling methods, not to mention the UL Valerian again, but it had that same like press the button, pop the top type of thing. Right here, you press this button, 
sposh, you pop the top. Flips open like a little switchblade. One large juice fill hole means that you kind of have to be a little bit careful because your juice is going in and your air is coming out, so it does have the tendency to clog, but I keep my juice bottle kind of right over here on the side and I can fill it no problem. Here's all the specs from the website while we fill this tank. I do really like that six mil bubble glass on there and it's not quite 25 millimeters. They say it's 25.4 millimeters wide. I'm not sure why they chose a diameter that wasn't 24 or just 25, 25.4, sure. And ding, we're done filling. So now you can just take this, swivel it back, snaps into place, Awesome. Awesome top fill method. I'm gonna be popping this on that uh, V-Zone E-Mask. And yeah, there you go. Falcon King. It is the king. But is it really the king? I don't know, let's vape it. And I always say this in sub ohm tank videos or really any like tank that has a replaceable coil head in it, but after you fill it up for the first time, take some like dry toots on it. Like don't press the button and give it some of these. <laughs> And that's gonna get the juice flowing to where it needs to be. Additionally, you can just let it sit for a few minutes. Like, give it 10 minutes to just soak up some of that juice so the first time you press the button, it's not just dry horribleness in your mouth. 0.32 ohm dual mesh coil head on the inside. I got it set to 70 watts, boom roasted. The airflow on the Falcon King is rad. It could be a little bit smoother. It's just a hair, just a hair on that like turbulent side of the airflow. Because for some reason I'm a restricted lung hit type of guy now, I have been closing down this airflow about halfway, helps smooth out the airflow and it makes the vape a little bit, uh, a little bit warmer. Stellar, stellar, not even stellar. So what's better than stellar? Spectacular. Honestly, the Falcon King, it's the king. I mean, these are some of the best coil heads I've ever used. I love the airflow. I love the tank. I love the final vape experience that I get from this sub ohm tank. You've come to a point in like vaping where it's like, what, what else can we do with sub ohm tanks? Like how much farther can we take that little piece of technology? Well, Horizon Tech said, well, we're going to use bamboo as the wicks and we're going to put that coil head inside of a dope tank that has the single coolest top fill feature of all time. You can't look at that and say that it's not cool. Press, open, fill, that's cool. It's maybe a little on the loud side, but it is far, far from the loudest tank I've ever used. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Falcon King tank. Uh, not really, clicking around the internet, the most expensive I saw it was $40, but it's usually right around $35 to $40, which isn't necessarily in the like, cheap enough to, to buy it just to try it out range, but it's certainly not vape budget hands necessary. I feel like even at 40 bucks, that's a very reasonable price for a tank that is this high quality, honestly. And it's not even that this tank is like unbelievable or incredible. I don't love the way it looks. I'm not a huge fan of the really big like cut knurling in this. I'm not a huge fan of the really big cut knurling in the bottom either. I'm not a huge fan of the way the bubble glass looks, although I do like the six mil capacity it gives me. But what I love most about the Falcon King is that that final vape experience, you just, you can't deny that it's great. And it is great. All right, so FDA game, Aliens game, I think we know the answer to this, but if they came and took all of my vape gear and I had nothing left to vape, is the sub ohm tank from Horizon Tech, the Falcon King, I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> is the Falcon King something I would seek out and buy right away? Look, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best sub ohm tank I've used so far. In my life and in vaping, this, 
it's the king, man. It's the king. I genuinely can't think of a sub-ohm tank off the top of my head right now that I want to vape more than this one. Maybe the Inokin iSub B. I've really been enjoying that as well. But before this, I really loved the Falcon Artisan Resin Edition and I put up with the cruddy colors and the wonky drip tip. And now I can get that caliber of coil head inside a much nicer tank. Yeah, this is a rad tank. And I, I mean, no questions asked. 40 bucks, boom, give me a Falcon King. Bring me to the King. Anyway, that is certainly enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. And as always, it's the Falcon King. Let's just keep on vaping. That's enough. 0.32, dual mesh coil head, 70 watts, boom, vote. What? <laughs> There's honestly not a whole hell of a lot to see up close with this tank, but I have a...